Welcome everyone, wherever you are in the world, to the 2022 Kundal History Prize announcement of the finalists. As chair of the jury, I, together with my colleagues, had the tremendous joy of reading tremendous history books. There were nearly 400 entries in the Kundal History Prize this year. With great difficulty, but uh, enormous pleasure, we managed to narrow that down to a short list of eight titles. And then, with even greater difficulty, but also perhaps greater pleasure, we read in close detail those eight and shortened the list to three finalists. In no particular order, Ty Miles, All That She Carried, the Journey of Ashley Sack, A Black Family Keepsake. This book is beautifully written, and it evokes a world that, happily, none of us will ever inhabit. It tells the story of a mother and a daughter, and all the love of the mother for her daughter, in South Carolina, before the Civil War, in the world of slavery. And it uses the sack of the title, which by some miracle has survived to this day, to supplement the rather slender documentary evidence surrounding this family. So Miles has rescued from a very document-poor environment uh, a story that's universal, the love of a mother for her daughter. And second, Ada Ferrer, Cuba and American History. This is another book that is lovely to read, the book is deeply researched in both Cuban and U.S. North American sources. And the story it tells is not merely one of political and economic engagement, but it also includes a strong human element uh, in the narrative. A wonderful achievement. And third, Vladislav Zubok, Collapse, The Fall of the Soviet Union. This is another big, sprawling book on a momentous, indeed era-defining development. Zubak has done prodigious research, mainly in Russian archives and memoirs, but supplemented by a large dose of oral history. And he's provided a detailed narrative, perhaps the best we can ever hope to get, of these events and melded that with a convincing argument that deftly interweaves contingency and structural considerations. It's the historian's craft at its best. Among the things that these three books share is that the authors each have a finely calibrated passion that underlies their achievement. And that passion is their personal connection to the subjects of their stories. So for example, Zubok was a young man in Moscow during the implosion of the USSR. And Taya Miles shares an ancestry rooted in the plantation south with the subject of her story. And Ada Ferrer herself was part of the exodus of Cubans into the United States following the Cuban Revolution. So in one way or another, each of the authors has a personal thread that connects them to their story. And in 2022, each of these books, in one way or another, resonates with the present, even if their stories began as much as 500 years ago. You can now explore these three outstanding books via the Kundal History Prize website at kundalprize.com slash 2022 finalists. You will find my fellow jurors telling you more about each title and special video contributions. You can read extracts via the prize media partner Literary Hub and listen to podcast interviews from BBC History Extra, also a prize partner. So please do head to kundalprize.com now for this and more. So I hope you will read these three superb books. Thanks for being with us today. And remember that the winner 
will be announced on December 1st.